Peace and greetings, everyone. I wanted to give a quick uh, walkthrough on how to develop your own RFID reader, scanner, writer, and <clears throat> anything else you would like to do with this awesome uh, MFR522 RFID module. So this is going to be using a Arduino Nano and this uh, tiny screen. And I'm going to show you a uh, GitHub repository that I uploaded so you can copy the code and make your uh, cheap like $5 RFID reader. So here we have the um, complete setup. And on the GitHub repository, <clears throat> I show the wiring um, so you could set it up exactly like this. And um, if you have similar boards, um, you can also do that as well. Um, let's first take a look at the module. So uh, this is a pretty um, standard RC522 um, module. And it has the SPI um, connection. So pretty uh, standard um, setup, SDA, SCK, MOSI, MISO. <clears throat> and you don't use the IRQ uh, pin, see right there. And then you set up the ground, uh, RST, and 3 volt. And then we're using the Arduino Nano. Um, this is just a clone. And um, something that differs from some other people's is uh, I added this screen. And this one, <clears throat> um, if you want to get it, is the SSD 1306 uh, 0.96 inch screen. And it's a pretty nice OLED screen. So there's the screen. And if it looks like it's uh, blinking, it's because of the lighting. And yeah, pretty straightforward setup. And once you have everything all connected, you could take um, one of these uh, test blank cards. And usually every kit you uh, get, um, or any module you get will come with uh, some cards, usually. Um, so see that it's waiting for a card. And it scans and reads and tells you the uh, information. So uh, these modules, um, they won't scan like, uh, you know, like hotel keys, um, you know, like your work badge, um, cars that require a lot more security. These are more so for um, the, as you can see, the 1KB cards, um, the ones with four bytes, so it's a small amount of data. Um, but these would be like your um, simple key fobs for maybe like a uh, laundry room or an arcade um, a arcade business um, because they use these for like token cards and um, just more simplistic stuff. So uh, here is the... Um, GitHub repository for the project. Um, I'll post the link down below if you want to um, check it out. And I show you um, exactly what parts you need and I'll post the link down below too if you want to get the um, exact parts and um, it shouldn't cost you too much. So here I basically just uh, go through every single thing you need to know I try to make it um, really easy um, tell you um, what parts you need and then uh, the certain libraries you need for um, the Arduino IDE and then the exact um, connections I use so you could set this up um, within like a minute <clears throat> and tell you exactly what to do if you aren't familiar and um, yeah just how to use it so all you do is um, just uh, go here and you download it and uh, do what you need to do.
So yeah, that was a quick little rundown of how to make your own uh, Arduino scanner. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Let me know um, if there's any other tutorials you'd like uh, to hear. Um, this one's pretty simple. And once you get the parts, it only take a few minutes. Um, but the possibilities are really endless, especially with um, the main library this code uses. You could read, write, um, you could delete data, uh, you could copy data. Um, you could also have an SD card so you could save um, certain keys so you could quickly load up um, data. And you know, this would be a, a really good DIY if you do have um, a business or, um, you know, an organization or you might, you might be doing an event. So you buy, um, <clears throat> you know, like a hundred of these, you know, maybe a hundred or you might need a thousand of these um, for like an event for some sort of uh, token system. Uh, so this would be a really good way, a cheap way. Um, you could probably make like 10 of them and have your crew just quickly scan and load up um, cards or, you know, if you're at a, you know, fair or stuff like this, it's like more for low security um, use cases. And uh, sometimes these readers can be in the hundreds of dollars, uh, especially for just a very basic um, card or key fob. Uh, so I hope you find this helpful and uh, be making some other cool uh, videos in the future.